So a good pitch will um, talk about um, one, you know, what's the nature of the problem? Who cares about the problem? Um, you know, why, why am I, why does this make a good investment? What's the context that this thing is operating in? Is there something that's changed recently that, you know, you're seeing first that has made this an important opportunity? What's differentiated about what you're doing? What's defensible about what you're doing? How much money are you raising? And what are you going to do with the money? Two sort of mistakes that I see most often are one, entrepreneurs give a product pitch rather than an investor pitch, and those are actually two different things. Why somebody buys your product is a product pitch, but why somebody invests in the company is actually a little bit different. Understanding at the earliest days, there, there's gonna be more overlap between those two, but um, they are different. And um, when it comes to you know, why you're raising, say, $2 million, one thing that a lot of entrepreneurs do is they tend to say, oh, it's gonna take, get me you know, two years, and, and that's great, but we actually wanna know, this is gonna sound crass, but what we really wanna know is why the next person who's gonna invest is gonna pay more money than I did. So what are the milestones that you're going to get to that are gonna provide you know, valuation increases because You've shipped your product, you're doing a million dollars in annual recurring revenue, you have 10 customers, I'm making this up, but you know that there are some things that are really going to lead to an increase in valuation. So the in increase in valuation can be a few different things, but um, most commonly, especially at the earliest stages, it means that when you go to raise your Series A or your B round, that the neck, you can raise more capital at a higher valuation than somebody just invested in, or that this capital is enough to get you to an acquisition by somebody else. Although most venture capitalists are really thinking bigger than, oh, I'm getting two to three times my money on an acquisition because there's too much risk involved in that kind of investment, especially early, you know, I should back up. In the earliest days of company, the, your initial investors are hoping that your company is worth 10 times the price of what they invested in. As you get later and later, the venture capitalist may say, I'm looking for a two to three times my money because it's a risk adjusted return. You already have revenue, you've already got a product. My time to um, my time to exit for you through an acquisition or an IPO is much shorter. So I don't need as high a return. Your earliest investors are looking for a much higher return because they are taking the most risk.